Hey everyone, welcome to another Ipsy video. I'm going to start off as always with my reviews of the items that I got last month. Alright, so first thing that I had gotten last month was the Skin Iceland um, face cleansing cloths and I loved these. Um, uh, disclaimer, they were a little bit scratchy if I had really used some kind of a harsh toner or something before it, but if I didn't do that, if this was one of my first cleansing steps, then these were like amazing. They smell so fresh. I just, I really, really loved these. Something that I'm going to look for um, when it goes on sale, when I have 20% off for Ulta, um, or just as like a treat to myself. Probably not something I'm going to be buying all the time because they're a little pricey, but they were really fun and I'm glad to have tried them. All right, next thing I had gotten was this Mika Beauty Cosmetics um, Shimmer Powder, and this was an olivey green tone, and I actually didn't try this out at all. Um, you can see in the cap the kind of color, which is really odd because last year at this time, I was obsessed with olive green eyeshadow. So I'm kind of surprised that I didn't ever try it out this month. Um, I did a little bit of traveling, so this isn't really a travel-friendly product. Um, I did try, however, the Starlux Lip Gloss, and this was really cute. Um, slightly light colored for my skin tone, but I still can make it work with a darker lipstick underneath. Really good formula. I loved this. Um, the Nourish Organic Moisturizing Cream Face Cleanser. Um, I did have a little bit of breakouts this month, but I do not think that it was due to this. Um, I think it was something else. This was nice. Um, didn't have too strong of a scent. Very creamy consistency, very similar to the Philosophy Face Wash or Cetaphil from the drugstore. That kind of creamy, milky texture that I actually really like in a face wash because I have really dry skin, so I like something that's also putting moisture in while it's cleansing. Um, I'm going to look price-wise. I actually am really happy with Cetaphil and it's just a couple of dollars at the drugstore. So, um, you know, if this isn't too much more, I might look into it, especially since it is organic. It's probably doing a little bit better for my skin. Uh, but if it's really expensive, I'm going to say skip it. And then the last thing that I had gotten was this Roseberry Figs and Rouge hand cream with shea butter. This was nice, but it was a little bit thin for me. Some people are going to love this product because they don't want something that's super thick and greasy. I want the thick and greasy. So um, really good hand cream, uh, smelled delightful, a little bit overwhelming, I have to say, but after a little bit, it wears off. Um, yeah, I'll definitely use it up, um, especially on days where I'm not feeling as dry. And then everything last month had come in this really cute blue bag. Yay! I love the bags. It's one of my favorite parts. It's all my favorite part. All right, so moving on to this month. And I didn't look in it, but I did do the pull tab, which I'm really excited that they have that now. I don't know if that's like a new thing or just this month. There was like this little end here that was sticking up and you just pulled it and then it opened from the top, which is so much easier than trying to like pry it open like it had been. All right, so pulling it out. <gasps> Ooh, life is short. Wear glitter. I don't know if this is gonna come out on camera, but it is just silver glitter and it is so pretty. And the hot pink zipper. Oh, I love it when the zipper is a different color. I don't know why, those little things just make me so happy. All right, so first thing, Temp 2 Highlighter in Pink Pearl. Oh my gosh, love the highlighters. This little bitty bottle, it looks white on camera, but it is like a pearly white pink color. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. Nice little squeezy tube. It's very subtle. It's a very, very light, shimmery, kind of a pearlescent highlight. So this is going to be a really good, acceptable for work kind of a highlighter instead of your like glitter bomb ones that I, you know, happen to be a fan of. All right, next. J Cats. It says Wonder Lip Paint. And the color is Red Potion. This looks really dark. I don't know. It looks like an OCC Lip Tar, which I've never actually tried one of those before. 
Um, the kind of lip paint stuff scares me a little bit. So I will definitely try it out though. Okay. It is really dark. Oh, it can be sheared out a lot though. So look how much that shears out into this beautiful berry shade. So that's a lot different than this. It comes out the tube this dark. It's very creamy. I was kind of always expecting these lip tar things to be really drying, but this really seems nice. I hope this is going to come off of me before I have to go to work today. All right, next. Be a bombshell eye base in submissive oh my gosh if this is like a paint pot or one of those Maybelline color tattoos I am obsessed I have all of the Maybelline color tattoos and a lot of the paint pots and a couple of like every other brand that I've ever been hand on because I love them so it's this little tub and oh it's a beautiful coppery color so creamy. It's a little bit sheer, but that's okay. It's very pretty. It's just slightly brown coppery tone and it's a little bit shimmery, but not over the top shimmery. I think that's going to be really pretty. Can't wait to try that out. Next is Elizabeth Mott You're So Fine Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Ooh. It's in the color Glitterati. I'm kind of scared to see what that's going to be. Yikes. Okay. It's okay. black with silver glitter. So mixed feelings about it because the silver makes it look like it's spotty even though it's not. Um, I'll definitely have to try it out. Probably a really thin line on the top lash will look really good. I'm excited. I've just been starting to play with liquid eyeliner for the past like six months or so and I'm not the greatest at it but I definitely just keep trying because it looks awesome if you get it right. All right last thing Mark Anthony oil of Morocco argan oil. Hairspray extra hold fast drying infused with keratin. Hmm. Ooh, nice sprayer. I don't really smell much, just that like aerosol smell. <laughs> oh, there, now I get a little bit of that like almost fruitiness to it. Um, doesn't really smell like argan oil to me, but I don't know, give it a shot. I kind of like it. All right, well, that is everything that I got in this month's Ipsy. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye.